You don't want to wake him. <laughs> uh, what were we doing? It's important to send your most forgetful gamers to Metroidvania land for maximum playtime. Uh, is this going to bounce back and forth really rapidly? Ah! Okay. Another one, huh? Okay, that's interesting. So the thing bouncing back and forth will not cause a loop because there's no there's no second switch and it can only flip a switch from the side that would lead to that happening physics wise. Okay, so I can jump back up to get back. All right. So I need to get yet another match. These definitely seem like they're going to be really spaced out, but this is like my fourth candle already. After they seemed initially pretty spaced out. Oh, well, I'm here now. I guess that's that mystery solved. Find out there's a secret here. Eh. Not there. What about lower on the wall? Past the lip? Seems like a no. Okay. Ah! That was unrelated. Alright, as expected, the water puts those out. Does not respawn. Alright. What to do with that particular secret then? All right. Well, I know where to go next time I find a match. Ah, the spikes are in the way. Rude. Ah! Whoa! Just touching them anywhere kills you. Okay, they're video game spikes. But there's a button behind them? Oh! Huh. There we go. I don't know if the smaller ones will hurt me or not. Huh. And I guess I'm not currently in danger going against the side of them. Hahaha. <laughs> Okay, and you can break them afterwards, which is important, because that one was blocking the exit. That was a little learning process. Okay. Huh. That was interesting. I guess he's stuck down there. Bye. Another rude dude. I do have the firework for it. It's <laughs> <laughs> enough of you, sir. There's the candle. Got another one. Oh, apparently it's light enough to do it in this room. Because that's that's two more candles.
I'm a bit amused by the fact that I've created this like slight conundrum here. Can't go this way. Okay, so if I go back up here, I can get rid of this by interacting with it. There we go. Nope. Ooh, that I was. Yes! Upside down egg? That doesn't even... What does that mean? I... I don't think... Ah! I'm back here. Oh, hey, I haven't done this yet. Right? Yeah? Yeah, this is the one we haven't done yet. So this is this is good to be back at. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. Fine. Well, I'm down here now. Do it. Don't fall for it. It's wily ways. Yeah, ha 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 hoi! My little friends are here. Hi. You're in my way. Can you be lured to over here, please? These guys are already awake. I guess I don't really know how to use the animal flute. I just know how to make noise with it. But, like, I can't control these guys. It's not even like an activation thing. These guys are already active from the get-go. They're a right problem. Ah, you just have to punch them a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? Thanks, guys. All right. <laughs> Red egg. That looked like a strawberry. That interaction that was so weird. <laughs> I don't even not think that was what was gonna happen. That was an accident. I thought maybe they'd play with it, like I could interact with it in some way, but... <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> that was so stupid. I... God, where even was I? What was I doing? I fucking fell down here and I'm stuck down here. I guess I was like, I was there, right? Yeah, I fell in the hole. Just had to go all the way back there the long way. I guess if something kills me, it's a shortcut. Puppy? Oh, the puppy's somewhere else. Oh, this go this way to get, get killed for a shortcut. Swallow me whole. Down the hatch. Some people would pay for this. Yeah, for a second there, I thought that was like a chunk bit anatomy, like upsetting looking. There you go. Now I'm up here. Ta -da! We could go right, but I'm gonna go back to the left because that's where I was going a minute. Ah, I was going a minute ago. 
the button waiting up there. Can you press a button with a bubble? I don't won't go through that platform anyway. Let's see. Gotta go through the dog room again. Yeah, all these doors are open, so it's easy. It is in fact easy and peasum. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye now. We're back to where I was ten minutes ago when the episode started. I never opened this door apparently. This is where I was when I when I died. I don't remember exactly. I was up to. See, leaving this room should be easy now. Yeah. Sweet. Most of this game is designed to be pretty straightforward. Uh, they designed a lot of these rooms so that you have to solve the room the first time, but then afterwards you can pretty much just walk through them. That's a new room. What the fuck? Yeah, that's a new room. Alright, so I don't have the match and I don't have any fireworks. I wish I could zoom in a little more. Okay, so this is directly above where I fell down. I guess I'll just have to hope that I finished whatever I was doing there. I don't remember if I finished getting the stuff or whatever in the tunnel down there. Or what was happening exactly. Wow, you and I, we're about to have a Tetris Plus. A game no one remembers, but I remember Tetris Plus. Oh, I forgot there's a timer. Ow! Damn it! Oh, I guess that works. Ah, f I, brr, brr, brr. We're fine. You have to go all the way down here to lure him over, okay. Very carefully, not high enough for him to actually come over. Quickly! Quickly! Alright. I guess it doesn't matter that much how high it goes. Just please come over here. Come here. here. Come here. There you go. I managed to hold his attention for a minute. Okay. Secret? Secret tell no one? It is just a frisbee. Wait. I should have caught onto this faster. Not only do dogs catch it like a frisbee, it is a. They did say it's a disc. It just is a frisbee. This ability is a frisbee. I have a frisbee and a bubble. We have children's toys as superpowers in this Metroid. In this Metroid. It's famously how you identify those. Yeah, this part's easy. Ish. Think. See, you see me? You see me? Come here. Come here. Come here. God. <laughs> All right. How doth I hold your and in thine intentions? It's a showing. Oh, okay, there we go. Sorry for uh, trapping you in a small coffin-like existence from which I will never free you. Just Blorbo things. Bing. Oh, a key. Wait, can I let you out? Wait, a key? One key. I've played this game for over two hours and suddenly... There is a key. Singular key. That one will not fall down, it looks like. Did that by accident. 
feel a little bad whenever I bonk into one of these. Uh, well, I hope you're very chin chill with your new ex existence of never leaving that one square foot of level ever again. Yum yums. Those bubbles interactive? No, they're I think they're background bubbles. It's weird how they visibly separate from the background in the low light setting. Oh, another spot to light. I can't add it to the map. I do it here. Okay, so we have like three, like three more, I think. If I can find some more matches, we'll be pretty far along in the process of uh, getting that one thing open that requires you to light all the matches. Just do. No. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Ta-da! Uh, well, it doesn't help me now, but it will help me eventually. I have I, I have been to that side, too. For now, I think I want to go up here. Can I go in here? Nope. Oh. Uh, one of you. I see how it is. No. Fine. It's fine. Aha! I did it. And it's down. There we go. That was the goal. There are definitely more. I don't think your frisbee persists across screens unless you're on it. Wow, there's still more to hit. I don't know why I wouldn't break these. I don't imagine they're going to be helpful to me while they're up there. I'm kind of impressed it keeps finding more to hit. I guess whatever puzzle might be going on here is more helpful when you have the match. I can't believe there's more. No! Well, it doesn't reset, right? Is that a bat? Is there a bat in the middle of the room? Hang on a minute. Yes. I wonder if the bat knocks them down as hazards in the boss fight? There's a whole bat up there. That's spooky. So lighting that match causes the bat to come after you, probably. You have to survive whatever comes next, I bet. Hmm. Don't have a match, though. Got some colors contrast in here. And a funny deer. And a Ransona pose with its arms crossed? No. That's just a shadow. It's probably a kangaroo, actually. Egg as a service. No! <laughs> Not eggs as service. What new horrors will people invent? Oh, 
wasted those. Whoops. Ah! Flashing. Uh... I guess question marks are what I'm calling circles, because I don't know what, what else to call them. There isn't like a circle icon. We have a second spot with the, with the recess. Circular recess. And I wasted all my, my fireworks. I, I got curious for a moment because I've been I'm kind of wondering whether or not there's like a thing where you like put a firework inside of a bubble. Blue, red, blue, red, red. Blue, red, blue, red, red, blue. Blue, red, blue, red, red, blue. Left or right then? Blue, red, red, blue, red, blue. <clears> hmm. <throat> Top to bottom? Red, red, blue, blue, red, blue. There's like three on the top row, two in the middle row, and then one on the bottom is the blast blue. Hmm. I figured I'd just jump on the lily pads that match the colors of the lights, and that would open the door part, the screw bar, the screw part, the screw door. That looks like it opens, but I guess you'd also maybe think it opens based on the the recess. So maybe you need maybe that's the solution to the puzzle, but you need to have the item for it. And maybe the other place where I saw one of those also had a clue for how to solve that puzzle. But I was just focused on the part where I need the recess first. Whereas this time it's rel relatively apparent that something seems to be going on. I still can't do that. We have to go all the way back around. So violent. We've done all that. How many eggs? 15. <gasps> One more egg! One more egg and then something happened of some sort, you know? It's exciting. I wasted all my fireworks, so I can't defeat this guy. Oh, he's coming. Oh, no, wait, no. Uh, it's moderately terrifying. Uh, no, stop it. What have I done? No, oh, it's fine. Actually, do I want you to kill me? Oh, oh, map does not pause game, apparently. At this point, death is probably easier. Ravage me! Alright, now I'm up here. And if I head... Uh... Maybe if I head left... I want to get to the other side of that room that I've now unlocked. No. <laughs> I actually, I really enjoy how the dogs all jump for the frisbee even when it's out of reach. They're just, they're great. I think this is the spot. Yep. So we open this up from the other side. Now I'm in danger. Who's a good boy? Who wants to go fuck off? Who wants to fuck off? That is not long enough, if I'm being straight. He chase! He chase! Yes! Don't eat, don't eat me, don't eat me, don't eat me, no, 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 everything's fine. Ha! Ah. Look at him, I've created infinite entertainment. He's in the hell of my making. He'll never escape his instincts. Save point and swordfish for some reason.
I'm going so far in these really specific tangents, but I've never just gone like right at the beginning of the game. <laughs> I'm amused by that approach. <gasps> A thing. The forbidden egg. I think that sound that sound scared me a little bit because I thought I was about to activate something with a trap, but I think that was just the you've got 16 eggs sound to indicate you should go back and find out what happened. I don't think I can move that block. Maybe you can move it from behind? I don't know. How will I return now? There it is. It's interesting trying to figure out the right way to launch one of these and then be able to uh, actually use your jump arc to collide with it. You have to offset both animations in interesting ways. Hello! Oh, hi. Oh, that's only when you're pressing it. What are these? Oh, there's a bear mouth. That means you get... A diamond, because that's what I'm calling those. Uh, do I have a percentage in this game? I wonder if you unlock one or something. It's not in the pause menu. Just kind of reflexively expect, like, a completion percentage in these games. I don't know, still don't know why I had a surprise fifth blue heart earlier. It's gone now. The concept of hearts is a little goofy because you so rarely even encounter the concept of damage in this game. So far. What happened if I fall down? Just the previous chamber, so I'll just land on the dog, which would be bad. Take me. No. <laughs> oh, I got a little close. I feel like that might have been bad. Probably would not survive. Okay, so this is indicative that I can in some way create a weight to put on things, which I can't right now. A frisbee. Or a babal. Guessing this is designed to be beyond the reasonable jump height of babal. Huh. Oh, that's gonna be a problem, because you can't use bubbles in this stuff. I don't think this is a doable jump. No, probably not. Which makes sense because whatever's going on here is happening. Mmm, there's a direct correlation. This one, this switch has a square on it, it activates the square block. That switch has an X on it, so it activates this X block, X block, the X box, and so on. Uh, what is the upside of them being up versus down? They all increase the height by the same amount, so I can make the I can jump to the all the way to the fourth one just fine, whether they're up or down. I'm wondering if you can summon a an object. I'm thinking you can summon an object and then maybe unsummon it, because if you if you deactivate these and they start coming down, you might be able to be under the last one and then jump like. Like a parabola to land on top of it. We have to go huh. 
to like go from being under it to on, on top of it. And then maybe when you're on top of it, you can in fact jump across. Either way, I think this is built around a thing I don't have yet, but I'm not sure. Either way, I think I want to get my egg. So let us attempt to find our way back home to the egg spot. Bye-bye. Get along, little doggy. Um. Oh, we had to climb up that one timed thing to get up there, which trapped us up here. Hmm. Yeah, you have to go through that. There's that big water chasm. Is like the only way to get back. Do 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 ah. Ra pa pa da 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 da. Ra da 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 da. Like in the top right. Oh, I forgot about this problem that's now going to kill me. Wait, where the f- uh, Well, now I'm really out of my way. Let's see, there's easier ways to do this at this point. Shit. Uh, there it was. It's that. It's the fact you have to tap it each time, which is like immediately f like I lost that in the muscle memory. Essentially, it hasn't come up for ages. It's, the, it's that you don't just press. The, I was I was tapping the directions. We have to you have to tap the B button or the flute. What button do I press for X? Because X is essentially you blowing, I guess. Let's see, so that can get me back up to there because it looks like the the bear has opened up. Even if I can't get to the bear very easily, I can at least come out of the bear. That's the mouse. That's the bear. I feel like I didn't map what the other side of the bird is. I forgot, I think. There you go. Forgot to map that one. And yeah, this is pretty close to the egg. This will work. If not, I was going to warp all the way back to the first room of the game. Oh yeah, we're, this actually takes us inside of the place. A pencil! What? Yeah, these are all children's items then. Firecrackers. Uh, pencil, bubble wand, frisbee. Pencil is not a usable item?
that's not the pencil, that's the flute. Uh, oh, the pencil's down there. Okay. There we go. So that's what it does. So it's not exactly revolutionary, but uh, who knows when it might come up. And, I mean, it lets me take more more detailed notes in places. So that's neat. I'm not sure if it, was, if it was necessarily worth the trip at the moment, but that's the spot where that's gonna open up when I get all the the fires lit. I currently have at least three spots that I've seen that I don't know how to light up yet because I don't have the matches. I could go right finally in this room at the beginning. <laughs> or I can go all the way up there. I do kind of want to continue the tangent I was on, so let's go back to that save point and go right. Down. No. Yes. No. No. Oh, God. No. No. Please. No. No. God. No. No. Okay. Ow. I'm very amused that you can throw a frisbee that's somehow so strong that it like pushes these guys around. We. One of the meanest things you can do in the cases of these creatures, the dogs, is put them in a room with ladders. Because it's really hard to out-climb them. Okay, oh yeah, I saw this room earlier and didn't check it. Hello! Fun bird? Oh, two birds. Ah! Oh, they don't like it when you do that. Oh, they don't like it when you do that. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so birds attack. <gasps> A match. Oh, that's good. One of them. <laughs> uh huh. would seem we are once again down here. <laughs> that was startling. Okay, so we have multiple places I can try to go back to to light up. Not in a huge hurry. I'll need like three more matches just to even clear out that area, so I might as well just wait till then. My priority might be that one dark room just because it's full of like labyrinth stuff that's hard to net. Oh, I guess my priority is the bat. I want to see what the bat does. Yeah, I want to see what the bat does. This place is dead to me again. I want to see the bat. Uh. We're good. Everything's fine. I'm just, I'm just cringe. All right. Where am I? Oh, gotta go back the other way. Oh, it's behind that. Gotta go all the way back around. I would like to awaken the bat, because that room looks neat. We're going to intentionally not use it here. Friend or foe? Probably a foe. Ooh! He seems nice! Okay, I'm a little upset right now. 
Uh. Uh-huh. Nope, this is a little scary. Uh, now that I can see these, I can tell that they don't fall down either. So, not friendly is my takeaway at the moment. Uh-huh. God, it's really aggro. Uh, I mean, I'm not like in a hurry to kill a bat, but, but it's gotta, I'm sure there's some kind of interaction here. Huh. Oh, these are back. I can stock up. Ah. Are you just here to scare me? Got it moves around so rapidly. Um. Not sure I can do much there. Blue, red, blue, red, red, blue. That was, there was a sound, that was weird. Kinda wondered if just leaving and coming back resets the sequence or something. Anyway, uh, I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I'm really, really gonna die. Oh, nope. Oh. <laughs> Still got me. All right, well, um... Oh, the red skull indicates where you last died. That makes sense. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Well, we lit the, the thing, at least. I guess. That sucked. <laughs> uh, nothing I did seem to interact with the bat. So I don't think anything's gonna happen there. This is where I got my stuff in the first place. Oops. I did not get to keep my firecracker. Also, you go somewhere. Down the turlet. Oh, I'm gone. Old rivers lead to the ocean, am I right? That's an old reference now. Once upon a time, I was 12. I know, right, even me. It's a sine wave? Or something? I've surpassed the Stussy. Run our way to another flame. Okay. I don't know what else to do besides this, basically. Wow, weirdly lines up perfectly. Oops. There. <laughs> that goes there. They're trying to, like, put down two symbols that match or something. Ah! Yeah, there's a parabola. I assume this just takes me all the way back. Very slowly. Oh.
Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. Here she is, the most finicky puzzle in the universe. I don't wanna. <laughs> I just don't... I don't want to. Okay, fine. Ugh. Jade Egg. I'm jaded from that puzzle. It has nothing to do with the surrounding game. It's just like an elder puzzle just jammed in here at random. Games, games just never learn. Oh. Ooh, they're taunting me with the weird weird owl again. Whatever it's on like a timer. Please return to me. I guess I can't get him to come here because he's also stuck behind a thing. So everything's just fucked. Well. Why won't you listen to me? Oh, I have to be up with that thing. That's how that works. Can't do much here. Oh, that's interesting. There is a little spot down there, like as if you could if you could go down there, but I can't go under those so far. I'm, a, I'm at a slight conundrum in that I normally... I've been... I've been mapping the warp points, but they've been the ones I've actually been able to use. It's my first time trying to uh, map one that I can't use. Yet. I feel a little mixed on that, because maybe it's not the most useful thing to map, but... It, I also want to find it later. Let me go up. That does seem out of reach. That one's even higher. This chest taunteth me. I guess I, sh I should add the chest to my map. I've maybe not marked every chest that I should. I don't remember if I've been leaving a lot of them undone, though. Rust egg. I. Does bird grab you? Nope. Not like that. Not, not, not like that, at least. Since we have access to the room above, maybe I can drop down in the right spot to land where the chest is. Man, what's going on in this room? 
This looks, like, this looks like some sort of weird Atari game. Abstract things bouncing around. So there's one bird that goes up. There's one mouse that goes up and down a lot, and other ones that go left and right a lot. Those just bounce forever. The birds seem to chase me. Yep, you can see that one chasing me over there. Oop. Don't know if they're all platforms, basically. I'm not sure what the use of the animal flute is in a lot of cases. What it's meant for. But I struggle to jump here, because there's a roof above me. Can't jump nearly far enough in that direction, as expected. Yeah, they're so fast, too. Make these crash into each other and freak out a bit. Hmm. This feels impossible? At the moment. Like, I can't really do anything here, I think. Maybe this whole area is just kind of teasing a later game area that I can't really interact with very much. Not sure. Fish toilet. It's a long sequence. I should be drinking. I should be drinking something right now. Oh! Sweet egg. Hmm. And I'm up here. Okay, I was kind of wondering about that. I don't know which one of these I might want to fall down. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I guess I never really had the ability to make that jump before. <clears throat> so maybe now we head back up and see if I can go right up here. I think that's more or less where I left off last. Yep, here's where I got swallowed. How many eggs? 19. We already have three more since last time. Alright, here's the room I've been to several times and I've never made progress in actually unpacking what's, what's looking like. Hmm. Oh, well, on this side of the room is locked anyway. I kept having other priorities, so I didn't even bother looking at this room yet to see what I'm even dealing with. Uh... I think it's relatively likely that we're going to get an animal companion, like a, uh, a a rodent or something. Because earlier we had a little vent under us that led to the other side of the room, and we had to push the button on both sides of the door, which seems to indicate that you could somehow send something over there. And then here... Something needs to go around and press all these buttons. And, uh... I would even imagine that since it's like a rodent, potentially, it probably gets attacked by these birds, trying to eat it as soon as you summon it. So you just have to get through that maze and get that button pressed and get through before the birds stop you, is what I figure that is going to be. That does mean that our Metroid is Vania-ing right now, because we can't do a whole lot of jack anything here. 
Uh, it might be fi finally time to go right. Hey, there's the glow worm referencing that chunk of the map. Go all the way back to the beginning of the game. Ta-da! Okay, so you can now see that four of these are lit up and five of them are not. Good to see that all clear. It looks like an owl. Yeah, I kind of just want to see the opening level again to see what new powers I might have that interact with it differently. I feel like there might have been like a distant, unreachable spot. Or... I died! I don't remember if I inspected this waterfall for secrets. just rub up on both sides of that real quick. So we still don't know what the circular recess is. But once again, there's a screw behind this one. This, like, weird textured door that looks like it screws in. So whatever activates it opens those doors. It does look like those doors are consistent. it has got a snake behind it. The going right goes back to the rest of the game. What will we see if we go left, though? Also up there? Have I been up there yet? I don't remember if I've been to that whole sequence upstairs yet. Oh yeah, I would have because I was running from this monster. It won't hurt to do a quick- Ah! Well. As per Metroidvanias, it won't hurt us to do a quick loop through the opening area just to see if I've unlocked new abilities that shake it up. Definitely a place we can get more of those. This is a little, <clears throat> a little unusual, isn't it? They kind of gave us a tutorial to fight the ghosts with the firecrackers here, but that ghost never has to be banished with a, a match. Or at least I don't think it can be. Usually there's like there's like a glinting spot. Yeah, I don't I don't see a way of banishing it. Wait, did I ever go through that weird tunnel? Yeah, it's when I went to the bottom left corner there and looped around. They're kind of like warming us up for secrets. Yeah, I wonder why there's just that one ghost with no candle. Unless I'm wrong. 
if it's somewhere else or something. It wouldn't be somewhere else because the whole point is that they're vulnerable to light. Then you... I shouldn't really be able to jump up there. Not right now. So that one's not going to work. Alright, what's to the right? Duck? Duck friend? Duck friend! Or at least a duck that doesn't attack me. It's a pictograph or whatever from like Picross. It's just a big happy bunny. And in the hole. No. But also another in another one of these. So maybe this quadrant of the map is full of these bouncy guys, because that's a uh, another one. Why are these birds so scared of Blobbo? I wonder if there's any way to interact with these guys? Nope. Oh, nothing behind this mouse. But what about additional mouse? Ah, oh, fuck. It's pretty far away. Hmm. A little drop down spot here makes me wonder if maybe we get a mouse here. Ow. Okay, they hurt. No? That was not immediately apparent to me. I thought they might be platforms. Bottom corner opened. Also, this exists. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is just a hole with some water in it, right? Ow, why did I time that perfectly to take damage? Why would I do that? Secret? Nope. Uh, I'm fine. Ah! Ow. Shit, where am I? Always good to remember that this one's inside the egg vault. Pretty good way to just get back to the beginning of the game. Uh, 19 eggs still. And we're back, okay. Who's activating it? I don't know if there is a switch anywhere. Every step of the way, the next thing happens on a rhythm.
I didn't see much reason to actually go to the left, given how things were going. I just skipped across. Some of these screens are getting dark. There we go, local say- oh! Are you going to devour me? Did I just use my key? I used my one key, that was the first time I found a locked door. They do exist. Travel egg. It's a, it's a travel sized egg. Normally that's very difficult to manage. Oh, you can throw them up. It does not like the sound of the instrument. It goes away from just the sound. Hehehehe. <laughs> Why don't you trust me, buddy? Bestie? Weirdly dark here. Oh, and there's a spot to light it. This is too dark to see the map. Okay. I think you're just refusing to have even the tiniest bit of eye strain. It can't go much of anywhere. Besides right down here. This is a lot. Ow. Uh oh. How? No! Alright, so that does not interact. for me. Ah, nope, you still get hit by it. Okay, one hit's fine. I do feel kind of like I didn't necessarily solve the level if I took damage to get across, but you know what? It's fine. Right, we did this to flip the switch in the other room. Oh. Oh. Hey, guys. Okay. Can't really... I won't be able to get across the other way right now very well. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to climb this room right now. You can literally run on top of these guys, okay. This is like the tutorial room for these guys. But here my struggle is that this one won't let me go any higher. Oh. 
goes behind elements of the background. Weird. Very strange. Okay. A little hard to see what causes it or not, but oh well. Nope. Bad call. <laughs> I did it. What that was the cost. Secret? Health? Aha! Ah! It's too dark to see the map. I don't think I'm going to be able to girl boss out of this one. Oh, ho, ho. I'm afraid. Why did I do all this? There's that, I guess. Oh, let me put the thing down. Does this really just loop back to me leaving? I guess the room wasn't in this configuration originally, right? Now I, have a, now I have a shortcut up to here. But why? I don't... There must be some way to interact with the... With the mice. This is where the chest was? Hi. Oh, come back, be my friend. And no matches, 20 eggs. Can't go that way. Shouldn't be possible to jump up here unless. You need a, a, a minimum of two squares to do a loop like this. So I, I don't think I can cause like a infinite climbing glitch with the uh, with the frisbee to go up there. Hmm. Wait, this is open now. That wasn't open before. Okay. All right, what are we looking at here? Oh! Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. Oops, set the recording to a slightly wrong setting. There, go back. There we go. Okay. Oops, spikes. Okay. So no one's <laughs> immediately ready for the fucking 
<laughs> the mouse to have lore. So there's a reason why we have freaking floating mouse heads everywhere. There just actually is a weird glowing mouse that attacks you via... Where is it? God, where is he? Uh... Oh. Uh... Whoop. Anything over here? So fucking weird. He attacks you with, the, with his head. Just sends it at you and it moves like the projectiles we've been seeing, I guess. Mess up the jump. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, squirrel. Hi, how you doing? I'm uh, seconds from death. Can we be friend now? I think the floor has a hole in it. God, where are we now? Okay. That squirrel was extremely startling and made all the funnier by the fact that I just took a break to take a snack right before I, I walked around that room. Ooh, here we go. Squirrel! Friend! Ugh. What the fuck? Hi, I'm back. Uh. What a normal video game. Some of these moments of surprise hostility remind me of, like, what I think, uh. What it, what it feels like, uh, like, Rain World might be if I ever get around to that game. God, where am I now? Oh, the barriers are back. Uh oh. Do I need to replay everything for this? Hmm. Well, that sucks. I definitely should have climbed up that ladder first to open up was probably a, a shortcut. I think I need to have replay everything now. I don't understand these. What if you stand still? Is it like that kind of mechanic? Nope. Nope, I'm dying. Huh. There's gotta be some kind of trick, because the room is impossible to get through without hitting them. Test them, ver them vertically? No. Nope. Okay, walking doesn't work. Is there any kind of indicator of what the trick here is? Oh, there's the ostrich again from a minute ago. trying to figure out how the game even tries to communicate what to do here. Oh! Around the light source they go ghostly. That's how you pass through the pattern. Ah, fuck. I fucked up again! <laughs> So if I could create a light source, that'd be good. And I guess you could push that 
light source around. <gasps> ah, fuck. This one I was able to figure out. Right, I have to go on this side. There must, there must be some kind of light source I can use. I don't think this works. But maybe both of them are vulnerable to light? There's not a light source in this room for me to try to use. I don't know if it works on them or not. Why did I do that again? Keep forgetting to wait for them to squish. Ah. Fuck. Can I have another fruit? Do I have to do this whole level every time I die to the ostrich? No, because there was a shortcut that I failed to open. At least it looks like one, because there was a ladder going up to a room I've been to before. <laughs> do all that just to toggle this light. I'm back here. Okay, this food at least. Please give me a way. Go elsewhere. Is this a secret? I feel like I haven't been finding as many secrets inside of walls lately. Here we go. It's this room. All right, that's open. So at least there's that. <clears throat> oh, there's a switch here. Oh, there we go. Oh, another key. It's handy that I've, I've been finding keys sooner than I've been finding the spot they lock. I can fit under it, thankfully. And here's another thing. Dream egg. This egg had a face reveal. No! Time to go all the way back around. There's definitely another location to do something with there. Anything over here? Oh, it's blocked. So I can't go this way. And it's the other side of the room from earlier, so I open it from that side. And then at that point, I guess it just taunts me. I'll just double check the connection here. Actually go through the shortcut. Okay, this leads out, yep, to the bunny. The weird bunny spot. Hmm. 
here in the mouse realm. The realm of the mouse, leading down into the realm of the ostrich or something. Alright, so now I have a reasonable shortcut. Hopefully. But I'll still spawn there if I die. So I suppose since this is the shortcut I currently have, I should go back over here and save here so that I spawn in a reasonable spot. It's very funny that firecrackers just naturally occur as a plant. Normal and fine. Keep track of that ladder for later. Haven't been there yet. Gotta remember, it's one of those loose ends I've been ignoring as long as possible while I explore particular paths. It's a good way to compartmentalize our progress and keep track of where else there is left to go, but it could be always, always be very funny because it could be the equivalent of me like ignoring the glider in Tears of the Kingdom and then finding out the game had the glider the whole time. Okay. God. Okay, so I got the... Will it just not... Does it just not cheat and attack you at dead ends or something? Are they past, like, the maximum length this thing can go to? Ah. Uh. Not that way. I'm trying to parse what's going on in that level. It's kind of a lot at once. I'm just doing a cozy puzzle platformer. What's all this, uh... What's all this boss fight doing here? Alright, so there are switches hidden in these mazes. Oh, wait. Little kiss? You want me to give you a little kiss? Ah, oh, no! How doeth I know where the buttons be? There's two more? Oh, it's because these ones aren't pressed. Eh? No. No. Oh, fuck. I'm so bad at jumping in these tunnels, goddamn. God damn it, how do you tell when it's happening? I can't see above the ground. I guess these are the four boss fights guarding the four flames? The ostrich, the cat, the seahorse, and some lizard. A bearded dragon. Why is there funny rabbit art? It's so strange. It's inherently kind of funny that it's like super low resolution, like Picross looking pixel art when the whole game is pixel art too, but like this. It reset my progress. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not always sure what this game wants from me, as far as this encounter goes. It's just very hard to see anything. So I can't really tell where the head is, or how under attack I might currently be or not, not be. Oh well. Now I've got the hearts to tank at this time, if it happens. There we go. And of course, I take no damage. Ta da! God damn it. Whee! Fire egg. It's an egg that's on fire. Also known as cooked. It's barely an egg anymore. Hello, S. Uh oh. 
There was a funny little guy over there with a knife. I don't know how we're going to get over to him, but... I think that whole tunnel was widening the whole way down, so there was nothing to land on. Could be wrong, but... I think we're going to need a new power to get out of here. Logan always teleport. Just tried throwing it straight up just in case, because I haven't necessarily verified if you can. We got all these worms that might be able to cling to walls, so I was kind of wondering if you could hyper them around. Falling in water is bad. Yep. Well, that's not going anywhere. How did I get a... How did I get a blue heart again? I keep, I keep getting blue hearts every now and then and I'm missing when they happened, so I don't know what the cause was. Ah! Oops. Oh, this is blocked. I guess that requires me to get all three of those. Maybe we'll get the power like in the next room or something? That might be it. <laughs> Yo yo, they are all children's toys. Oh my goodness, look at it go. <laughs> I don't know if you know of this about me, but I'm the coolest person to ever live. Ah! Secret, 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 secret. There we go. I just wanted to verify, but yeah, you can definitely launch it in whatever direction you want. I call this move taking the dog for a swim. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Good enough. Okay. <laughs> Just needed a way to get across. Alright. Please? Whoa. Wait, what? It clings? That's weird. The number of separate items we have to pivot through is getting slightly unwieldy. Which is mostly fine right up until the game adds combat. Okay, so that power is interesting. So we, in fact, do not, uh... We do not get a pet rat, as I was expecting. But we do get a thing that lets us go through those little tunnels and stuff. Oh, I see. This bird's job is to be annoying. It does feel good to being able to just aim where you want it to go.
Yep, so it can go through those chunks of floor. There we go. New bird who dis. Okay, I cannot harm these. Oh, this is the room we were in where I first encountered these strange things. I didn't know what to do with them. <clears throat> so light can banish them, or at least the blue ones. But outside of that context, all I can really do is just jump around. Yeah, this thing does not count as a light source for our current purposes. There's like a tactility to this thing that's kind of satisfying just to have in general. Kind of, yeah, I can't go up there, can I? It kind of reminds me of the uh, how excited I was when I first found the the boomerang in Terraria. I really liked 1.0 Terraria, or not 1.0, but the earliest beta or something. I don't know. Nowadays, Terraria feels really bloated by having way too many mechanics, which is probably true for Minecraft if I go back to it too. But it used to be really simple. I particularly liked that it didn't have like variations of loot items based on like. RNG stats. It's just like, you found the bo magic boomerang. That's the only one. There you go, you did it. Alright, so see that this was the spot that made me think you get a little a little pet that you can send through things. Ah Well I guess I'm here now. Ah Oh, this place. Did I even know these places were were, were connected? Maybe? I probably climbed up that last time, huh? Yeah, that's this place, okay. Well, it still steered me. Do I need some way of getting from left to right? That's what I thought before, but maybe now that I'm on this side I can... Drop down somehow. Alright, yeah, and also now that I'm here, I can activate frog. Frog activated. The hope is to be able to drop down from the right side, but this bird will stop me everywhere I go. Probably not doable. They do kind of basically perfectly track you. I don't think I currently have an ability that'll help. I don't think this one has a current currently has a chunk of the background that'll hide behind. So we know that the birds can hide behind the background, apparently. Sometimes, but it's only once in that one room so far. I'm back! No. Oh. Greetings, kangaroo. Ah! Okay. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh. Uh-huh. He seems nice. He does not care about that. No. I don't know if there's an interaction, yeah. It, that seems to be the through line, is that I don't, I don't think there is reasoning with the animals, generally speaking. They just are there. And a bit terrifying in their own way. 
Right, so I, I did, yeah, it's just saved, and I shouldn't be able to go down here. Oops. The raw chaos of that moment. I wonder if you just occasionally encounter animals and they freak out and you run away and that's it. <laughs> or if you do actually need to defeat them all. I feel bad about that idea. This probably causes damage. If it catch yep. That sure looks like a room built around the idea that this causes damage. Oh no. I don't, think this, I don't think the statue cares. Uh, yeah, when I saw this room, it looked like the only way to get through was to just run there from the beginning, but I didn't see how to get back down safely. Uh-oh. When I said I wanted to get flattened, it wasn't like this. No! I don't think there's any saving it once you're here, right? I don't see what you could do. Because you can't fall fast. Ah! Maybe you can. I don't think you can make it. I guess we got a little bit of squish forgiveness. Whoop, 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 whoop. So, there you go. Now that's all in the past. Oh, there's a little, little guy in here. Just powering the whole thing. You killed me. It was you. What? This just dead ends in the... Here? I gotta figure out where that water pipe goes, apparently. Yeah, there's a way to get sucked into here. That's the only way in. Both doors are locked. Oh! I can reverse it. That means I can go down. So that's what I was earning by coming here. You earn the ability to screw with the, the rat and make him turn around. I was like, why, why would the puzzle lead to a dead end? I don't understand. Okay, now I, need, now I need to reverse it again, because that's the guy that I need to get the, into that room. But there's something up here. There isn't. There's... Looks like a taxidermy or a statue. Oh my god, look at this thing go. Swallow me whole. That is a... That is a human making cat noises at me. That's what I want to do. It seems to be like... Pretty doable. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. Um Oh god. No. The save points. If you get squished anywhere, you go all the way back. Yeah, 
Okay, this is the level that tortures the gamer. Is that important? What's that? Nope. save system gets a little jarring once you actually start dying. Um? Oh, okay. These can also be broken. Bah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Never believe how much waiting we can have. All right. All right, let's try that, but less embarrassing. There we go. That's one. Um. All right, so it's currently going the wrong way. There has to be a reversible switch within this sequence somewhere. And I don't know how I'm gonna survive, how I'm gonna survive those. Uh, well, no, you, this to this, yeah, here because there's no platforms to deal with, you can just safely walk under the curve. Mm, but you can't climb up that. There was one fruit. startle it, essentially. I think this side is basically the easy side. Oh god. <laughs> uh, it's fine. A somewhat weird brain space what to do the platforming in. I'm gonna parse the interaction. But I suppose that one rat might be controlling everything, so I can just reverse him once to reverse the other room. Maybe I'll do that next. Okay, the one I pressed stayed that way. Oh god. What? How? Ugh. The mouse does not work how I think he will. Okay, okay. The rat turns to look at the yo-yo. It's not getting, like, 
triggered by the yo-go, yo-yo, or set off, or flipped by the yo-yo. The first room makes it hard to judge exactly how it works, because anywhere, pretty much anywhere you use the yo-yo, it's going to interact with basically everything. So the rat pretty much always changes. Yeah, this led to a lot of confusion where the rat would change direction, and I couldn't tell why it was changing direction, and then other times not changing direction. But yeah, the rat changes to look at the yo-yo. So that means when I'm on the right side of the room, if I use the yo-yo at all, it'll always flip. What really confused me is I managed to I managed to make the rat change directions, but I didn't manage to make the uh, button get pressed. So I was just like, what happened? How do you get out? Fuck. All right, I'm having a rough time with this level. At least I pressed it that time. But I don't think you're meant to die against each puzzle in this sequence, like it's the fucking bed of chaos. Or so I would hope. But if I bet of chaos it, that'll still work, I guess. I just won't be proud of myself. Okay, that one's actually reachable pretty pretty far away. There we go. We want you to switch sides so I can go to the other side of the puzzle. I think he affects every room in this sequence. Who's imprisoning everything? The cat. The cats are all in little jail cells. But like the oop, the rats aren't having a great time of it either. And now I can't get up there. Wait, I reversed the one under me, but I didn't reverse the one on the left. That one's still going down. Does, is that controlled by something else? I'm not sure what's going on there. The lift didn't reverse, so I can't get past the mice heads, because I can't get to them still. It's still going down, not up. Okay, so I reversed this one at least. I guess there's two separate... I guess the two rats and then two separate levels are two separate things? Because yeah, this, this one's also still going down. Weird. Oh well. So I never opened the door back there, though. I need to keep that in mind. Unless this does it. Where am I? Somewhere. Where was I? I'll just put a chest there, I guess. It probably leads to a chest. I don't know how to otherwise indicate that there's a button there that I need to press still to go to here. You. Is this the trick that I can reverse it, but then I can leave now? So I'm up here. Not quite sure what I'll get from dropping down. Let's see what's here. Nope. Too slow. Just realized there's probably a secret up here. Maybe not. Or at least I don't have another way of reaching it. 
Yeah, I can't do anything with this stuff anyway. Okay. Where's this one going? Oh, I'm back, but now it's going up. That's how you bypass that, so this will let me go back. Okay. Ah! But now this is going the wrong way, so it's going to be a struggle to get through. Not that much of a struggle, because apparently they're, they're basically perfectly paced. Spaced for you to uh, just hold down left for your entire jump. Otherwise, I was going to try to do the frisbee to get past them. Wait, is this doable? Uh. Oh wait, this part doesn't matter, right? This is the part that I need to, to leave the same. The one the part going up and down needs to stay the same. This part I can just switch. Now that I'm down here. Alright. I feel much smarter now that I actually know what its rule is. Because at first I was very confused how to interact with that part. <laughs> These poor cats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh god, I thought I was going to get squished. Alright, carefully. But this should be very easy to do. Yep, much easier than the other than the other room. Oh, don't forget you. It's fine. Ow! Oh, there's spikes here. Those are hard to spot. They think. Actually, I was about to say that they thankfully made it so that the. There we go. That the yo-yo is not affect does not affect your movement. It always whatever physics it has going on surrenders to your movement and just and it even it even has to like snap back into place. But at the same time, I'm a little disappointed by that because it would be kind of fun to do weird yo-yo parkour where you, where you could use you could latch into things and do stuff. So maybe I'm not as committed to that being a good thing as I first thought. Anyway, we learned that those weird things are uh, trap doors that will drop you sometimes. And you find the right thing? Yep, like this. Because now we know what's going on there. And we are currently one chamber away from one of the flames, finally. It's the closest I've, I've gotten so far. Even more so than last time, up here. I'll be getting in here soon. Ah, it's just water. There are like weird glowy spots down there. Oh, can't retract it in time. Yeah, that's that's probably not a thing. It's probably fine. Oop, what's over here? I don't know if I'll let you press it in that direction like that. I'm not sure if I get what causes it to latch on or not sometimes. Hmm. You would think that would have reached, but I don't think it is. Not sure what's going on there. Oh well. Next time. <laughs>